All right, guys, it's the 15th anniversary of Free Comic Book Day, and we're here at Soundwave to come get our free comic books. The Soundwave is located at 2139 North Main Street, Unit B. Now, that doesn't mean anything. I understand that. Let me just show you something right quick. Because they don't actually have a sign up above. So they're between, sorry about that, the Little Caesars and the Beer and Debate. Okay, so let's go in and see what they got. See you, right. Thank you. See, there's some nice people here. Hey, how's it going? Good. Good. Do you guys know everything going on? Um, no. Why don't you tell us? <laughs> All right. Well, we have uh, deals going on. It's free. It's uh, free comedy, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you get your three, three free comics up there. Three per person, so both of you can get uh, up to three. Mm -hmm. uh, and all these boxes right here, it's 25 percent off right now. Up top, it is. 750 for one and if you get three it is 20. Okay. Then we have a second store down the same plaza. Right. About second store down from the end. Uh, we got artists doing some commission work. We got dollar comic boxes over there. We got a bunch of other dudes with trades. So I would definitely recommend after taking advantage of all this to uh, go over there. Okay. And what's your name? Blaine. Blaine. Thanks, yeah. Blaine. Appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Have any questions? With John over there. John over there in the corner. Okay. So the free comics are all that free on the road over there? On that side, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. Thank you. We also have these little over there too. got some Sonic. Some Archie. Some Walking Dead up there. Now, last year they had all this on a table. So I'm glad they kind of have a line this time. No, we haven't. You don't have the answer? Yeah, we were here last year. Okay. Oh, my husband comes in. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of same deal as normal. Uh, we have $1 comics over there, $5 pops, uh, and $6 trade paper books. Thank you. And you can meet some local artists. This is new. They're selling computer towers, apparently. <laughs> Let's see. Dollar comics. Even more dollar comics. Some local artists. So this is the local artist, I guess, corner over here. And we're actually going to interview her in a second. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Pretty good. Holly has come up to me to say hello. Say hello, Holly. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, Alright guys, we're here with Christine Brinson. She's a local artist in this area and she does the coloring for Undead Norm. So if you've seen that before, that's her. She colors everything. She makes it look pretty. So, Oh, you do the writing too. Oh, see? I messed up. Sorry. Okay. So, oh no, this way. So tell us about Undead Norm. How long have you been working on that? Undead Norm's been around for like, well, it was in production for best four years almost kind of thing. We started publishing it in January 2011 when the first issue came out. I wasn't comfortable doing the line art yet so I got my friend Melanie to do that and so I did the story and the coloring and she did the, art, the line art and the lettering for it. And it just came from that. I, uh, I like doing goofy stuff, so it's more of a parody of the zombie drama, drama -y kind of thing, you know. But uh, we just have fun with it. And also, I do color work for other people, including um, Simon Says. I did the color arts for Matthew Smith's uh, graphic novel, and then uh, I'm also working on a new comic called Amazing Age, which is a superhero all ages book. And I also worked on Disco Frankenstein for the colors for that. It's a more of a like Shaft is Frankenstein's monster kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So you also have just like artwork that you just do. So I'm gonna let him take a look at that. Okay. So what is this? I thought this was cute the first time I saw it. Let me see if I can get this to focus on that. <laughs> yeah. Because that, that is cute. Thank you. That one's actually from. A, it's based off of. Playing around with my son instead of hide and seek, we play Where's the Dinosaur? And he likes to hide under sheets and go raw. So that's what inspired <laughs> that's what that is. Cool. And then 
We've got, oh no, my brain just blinked. Okay, there's a My Little Pony, yay! <laughs> and let's see, this one I really like because of the movement of the hair and like the tip of the chin and everything. That was really cool. And we've got this one. That was really different. The first time I saw it, I was like, what, what is that supposed to be exactly? But looking at it. It was for an art show where the theme was um, witches and what it is is she's uh, more of a white witch kind of thing, and she has her little pug familiar, and mostly it's cats you see, but I decided on a pug, and she's making a health potion kind of thing. Oh, okay, so that's that's why that okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay i get it now so as you can see i'm probably not that that great at interpreting art but i can enjoy it like i mean look at that you really you really have movement down really well i think Thank especially you. for hair hair like is like floaty hair and stuff yeah <laughs> me too i've never been able to do it like i can do straight down here and that's it take a lot of practice <laughs> a lot of a uh, lot of years of uh, failed sketches and stuff that blood up to it Maybe that's what my problem is. <laughs> I don't like to fail. <laughs> uh, oh yes, oh yes. Just recently you, you do a Patreon now, right? Yes. You help her do all of the stuff that she does. Ooh, and you get commission stuff, so. I um, do. What is this? Tell me about this. The sketch um, comic books you, got, you have over here. Well, the good thing with all the different blank variants and stuff that companies have been putting out is it's a way of um, having the logo with your sketch kind of thing without having to uh, pay a licensing fee for doing fronts kind of thing. But they don't mind you doing the little one-offs on these sketch covers, so I get to do a lot of different fan art on um, the comics, and I do... I've done all My Little Pony ones, I've done Magic Z Catwoman, I've done Batman vs Superman kind of thing, just whatever people want and I can get the cover for, I'll do <laughs> Sweet! And so people can buy those too, right? Yes, I do For sell those. them on my Etsy store. Cool! Alright, so these cards are $8. My favorite thing, this is, I like to buy stickers from her because then I can really advertise a lot better. But this is my favorite one she has right now. What's this one called again? It's a um, the Sailor Moon, Palmetto Moon kind of thing. It's uh, supposed to be inspired by the, uh, the different the, the flag of our state. But, uh, a lot of people don't really see it that way, but they just see the Sailor Moon stuff. So it's got a clear background on it, and so it helps the flight pop a little bit better on it. Oh. Oh, I did not know it was clear. So when I go to Atomicon, I have money set aside to buy this sticker, <laughs> guys. That's how much I like it. It was clear when I put it on my my scrapbook for all this stuff. That's gonna look awesome. That's gonna look awesome. Okay. And all my stickers are vinyl, so they last a good month. Cool, and that that means they're they get wet. They don't get ruined either. <laughs> so. Thanks for your time. We really appreciate it. And we're going to go look around some more. So I hope you make a lot of money. Yay! <laughs> okay, so guys, there's some more examples of what you can find here. I don't even know what this is. Let me see. Oh, they're shirts. Oh, cool. And even more comics. My brother was right. So all sorts of like little vinyls and stuff and everything. I don't know. I'm not really so much into the stand-up things because, oh yeah, more shirts. Usually they mess up the face really badly. Like, oh, this is a great figure, and then you look at their face and it looks like something from the Black Lagoon or something. Yeah. just turned it off. No, I didn't. Did you put it on auto? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you turned it off. What time is it? So, it's pretty cool, too. Oh. So guys, it's 6 o'clock They have an auction and they have um, a comic, or not a comic, but they have a, oh my gosh, my brain doesn't want to work for me. They have a costume contest, there it is. So if you're interested in any of that, then that right there is good too. That's right, we're Team Cat. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back in the cat cave to tell you all about the ones that I picked. So I saw Grumpy Cat while I was in line, sort of doing some video for you guys, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So Grumpy Cat and Pokey, I don't know who Pokey is, but I'm going to find out. The Phantom. Okay, The Phantom. Uh, how do I say this? I used to read this comic in the newspapers that could tell you how old I am and I've also watched the show in the 90s and I thought it was a lot of fun uh, sort of trippy and I like sort of trippy 
Bruce Lee, The Dragon Rises. Yeah. Okay, so I like Bruce Lee. Uh, I'm going to read this comic and see if maybe uh, it's got some of that Bruce Lee goodness in it. Uh, mainly because I like a lot of the stuff he talks about as far as the mastery of your body and, and the clearness of your mind and all that kind of stuff. Um, I was really into martial arts as a kid. I kind of still am. I can't be a convict. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, this should be interesting. Very different. Um, so anyway, yeah, those are the three that I picked. And that's why. So you can let me know what comic books you picked today uh, down in the comments. And um, why. Let me know. What do you think of each one? Oh man, this is like classic Phantom too. Awesome. Okay, so Grumpy Cat. This is completely new. I don't know. Apparently the guy at the comic book store, sitting in the corner, said that... There's actually something like a two-series thing on this, so, wow. <laughs> Looks kind of cute, especially him. Okay, so, anyway, thanks a lot guys for watching this video, and if you like it, please share, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. Until next time!